So again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have what used to be an alcohol container that I made shovels out of. You could probably just use something similar to my iPod case, even something less substantial. But I am going to put those one at a time. I'm only going to fill one of them. Unless I need the other one, I won't use it. And I'm going to keep my iPod case on standby. And this is a primed black. It was, it was matte black, and then I primed it with my own kind of shiny Artist Loft Walmart half and half black primer. I'm going to do the white metallic from Anita's, but I seem to have cleaned it up. There it is. Cool. So I'm not sure how far these will go because once it hits there, I didn't put a piece of tape across. That would have been a good idea. Maybe next time. So this is a berry color from Decor Americana. And I want to put my purple flash from Folk Art in there. I want to have a lot of purples and some reds in this. And I want to squeeze them into each other, and turquoise, squeeze them into each other so, uh, so they have a chance to, to cause a catalytic reaction. I'm not so sure about that red or that pink. But I am always sure about this neon from Folk Art Purple. And I'm going to do turquoise metallic and some of this darker turquoise. It's iridescent. They don't make that Art Minds color anymore. And I'm not sure where the, the turquoise metallic came from. I know it wasn't Anita's because I wish they would offer that color. That would be nice. This is a color shifting turquoise from Folk Art. I'm kind of wondering what else I might want to put in there, if anything. And the only thing that I keep coming up with is a different colored pink, which is not open. And it's very similar to the Purple Flash by Folk Art. So let's see if I can get a little bit of that. I think I'm almost out of this, and I'm not sure there's any more to make up when it's gone, which is kind of sad. Maybe some of that... I'm being called to the Anita's Bahama Blue. I think that might be really cool. Although I was going to use the... There it is. You know what? I've got a different blue. I've got a color shifting blue from Folk Art. I want some orange. Oh no! Let's see what the what the 24 karat gold with orange mixed into it looks like that. That's pretty cool. I'm not, I'm not unhappy about that. So let's get a few of these things out of the way. And my plan is weird. And that's okay, because I'm, I'm into weird plans right now. And I'm going to bring that canvas back. And I'm going to expect the base color that I add to this to, to flow. And I'm going to use my 24 karat gold in it, because I've never done that, and I want to. I may even swipe some, although I don't know that yet. I want to put some white metallic in there too, obviously. Because I can. That's the name of my first book on the Amazon link underneath the link tree underneath the video. That's cool. I'm done. <laughs> now I, do, I want it to stay kind of thick because I'm going to spatter some stuff in there, I think. And then see what happens when it moves. I was going to use a, um, a shovel, but I'm, I think I'm just going to... And if I want another color, I will add it. Wow, that pink went a lot longer, a lot further ways than I expected it to. There, I put my name in there. <laughs> I've never done that before. So I'm going to introduce you to, momentarily, the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas that are available on my Amazon link. There's like seven of them. Six of them useful, one of them I'm not sure about. Somebody, somebody promised me when they bought them they'd let me know, and I haven't heard back from them, so maybe, maybe that's just uh, a weird spatula. So now I want to put that right in the bucket because I've got plenty of opportunity if I want it. 
and I need to decide right now if I'm going to do something else here, and I kind of want to, which is, let's see what the fire opal looks like. That's probably not, <laughs> not my best bet, but in for a penny, in for a pound, let's put a few spots of that in there. Now, what I do like that I didn't use is my Venetian blue from Modern Masters, and I have to usually add that afterwards because it sinks. So maybe I'll put some of that right in here. And now it's time to go find an edge catcher. We don't need one yet. So you can watch where the flow of the large flow of paint is, the wave of paint as you circulate. I could wreck things too, which might be kind of cool right now. So if I bring a skewer in and wreck a few things, which I actually call waggles. <laughs> waggles came before wrecking. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. I've been doing this a little while. Sort of like a comb with one tine, or a fork with one tine. So that's kind of cool. I still want orange. Can't help it. Now when you put a lot of color in, you have a lot of flow ability. Orange will often take over, but since I squeezed that right underneath, I need an edge catcher. Okay, and I've got one. Cool. I have an opportunity. I'm not a slow tipper, as you can tell. I have an opportunity to choose to put some more colors in here, and I don't have very much negative space. So I'm thinking I might like to do that. Because I can. Hey, the name of my second book is Unlimited Possibilities, and it's right next to the first one. I like the, sp the negative space I made by adding those black... The black holes! I don't know how far the paint is going to spread, but if I wanted to stop it short, I certainly could because the background is painted. Once I flow that over here, I might want that to go over here because I got a little hash mark from what I don't know. So let me look at this and see if there's anything else I want to do. Maybe a little more orange. Where did I do it? Did I hide it on myself? No, nope, it's right there. I know this doesn't make any sense, but it should show you that you can do get away with all kinds of stuff. And I do tend to want to compose instinctively and intuitively. And I'm still doing it. Get off my bottle. I have an ant. <laughs> A rather large one, actually. Now, I'm getting to the point where I probably will have too much color if I'm not careful. And hopefully this won't suck. And if it does, I'll put chain in or use the basting brush. This is an edge catcher that I am going to allow to puddle. And I think this time I'm going to take the paint off the edge catcher. Swivel my painting around. Nope, don't escape. Come on, right back on you go. Put it on the other side because I can. I've got more paint left on there, and I can have it if I want it. That's kind of cool. It's time to grab an OXO omelet turning spatula. Flip and fold. Best paint spreading tool around. I'm going to take part of that paint. 
put it right there. I don't know if I'm going to be tipping anymore, but I want to continue on with my my designs that I see I have here. Because I can. What else? I saw something else I wanted to do. Okay, so that's okay. Don't have to have anything go over the edge if I don't want to. I think I'm going to take the blade of my spatula and the paint that's on it and maybe a little more paint. Make some patterns, lead them right up the edge. Oh, it almost sounds like rain. It was supposed to rain the last few days and it really didn't do the terrible job we were expecting it to. So that's pretty cool. I'm okay with most of that. I might want to meld a few things that aren't melded yet. Spread a few puddles out. I use GAC 800 by Golden so I don't have to. Uh, worry about that. I have just recently discovered that GAC 800 is cheaper by the gallon than the deco art pouring medium I was using. So, since I was gifted with a gallon of it for Christmas, I decided I'd go in that direction. And it seems to be working so far. Oh, I didn't realize that didn't have any, dry, any wet paint on it. Okay, well that's okay. We still have good stuff going on. I might tilt again. It's not impossible. I think I'm going to take this paint. Put it in there. Your little spatulas can lead paint almost anywhere you want it to go. Since I had a little something something I wanted to cover up there, that was the perfect place for it to go. So let me think. Do I want a torch first? Or do I want to just play and paint for a few minutes? <laughs> Always an option. I'd like to, I relish. So, what else do I need, if anything? I kind of think I want a little bit of orange up there, but I don't want much. So, maybe it should be the 24 karat gold with orange in it as opposed to the others. Or maybe I should do both. Alright, there's the. 24 karat gold with a little bit of orange in it. Nope, that's not doing it. The red opal is good too. So that's really all I want there. I say that, but you can't trust me. Grab the red opal. Because they're all sort of in the coppery family there. That's not bothering me. Kind of like that. I probably don't need to lead these things where I lead them because nobody would know if I didn't do anything about it. I think. I like that red opal enough to lead it right down in there. I really do want to tip this, but I don't want to lose anything I've got, so the chances are good I'm not going to do that.
just using the paint on my skewer. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I've got, again, I've got a minute and 34 seconds left. I don't need to worry about the paint being too heavy because of the GAC 800. Because what it is supposed to do is prevent cracking when your painting is dry with heavy paint on it. I don't know where that came from. I'm getting ready to do something with chain, I can tell you now. Maybe a dustpan pour and some chain after. Now anything I see that I'm compelled to move, I need to do sooner than later because as soon as you torch, you take the risk of gumming everything up with the heated paint. I like the waggle mark, what can I say? I want it to go all the way up and all the way down. And the white is fine, but it's not floating my boat as much as the waggles. Fortunately, I didn't torch too much. Yeah, loving those waggles. All right, so I've got two minutes to tell you guys I do sell my artwork and my email address is below the link tree underneath the video. I also give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. You may inquire over after each or either thing. <laughs> you may also always ask me questions and I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. Yeah, I had some paint on there. I'm having too much fun, I can tell you. The paint is kind of heavy, but that's okay. That's a big lizard. <laughs> a few dots never hurt anybody. Definitely not me anyway. I love you guys. There's 88, there's almost 88,000 of you. I'm sure I forgot to tell you all kinds of stuff, like thank you for the thumbs up, thank you for the contributions. Check out the end screens for the exhibition video that will show you what this month's prizes are for anybody who's a contributor to keep, help keep the studio rolling. I've just cut down the number of videos that I'm doing, so there's a really good chance that you'll be extremely appreciated <laughs> if you decide you'd like to be one of the contributors to help keep the studio going. That orange wants to go up there. And I kind of want a little bit right there. And if I draw some paint from next to it, to integrate into it, it'll look completely natural, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yes, now the eye jumps back and forth. I like that better. I don't even know how I do these things in 20 minutes, honestly. I think it's just dumb luck. <laughs> I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. It, I will see you anon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying, I know I forgot all kinds of stuff. Check out over 1,460 videos organized by genre and topic on my playlists. And I'll see you soonish. Maybe tomorrow. Check out uh, Facebook group Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for today's videos and sometimes tomorrow's if you check in at midnight. They might be there. Bye for now. I love you. See you soon.